everybody in this video I want to share with you the tapping patterns I use the most in my playing because I think there are few interesting ideas that are not too complex but quite effective actually I would like to share with you three ideas for tapping across multiple strings I think in an easy but effective way one of the ideas I'm talking about is relevant for the right hand and the other two for the left hand. The ideas we will share together have been actually used in two of my YouTube videos that you can find linked in the description below. So let's start uh, seeing together the part of the videos when I'm using this pattern and then we will describe the idea behind them. Now let's share the ideas beyond the tapping phrasing I was using in the video, starting from the right hand. First of all, in any major scale there are two positions in the fretboard where all the string played in the same fretboard position are right for the scale. For instance, in the case of the C major scale, we have all the notes at the 5th fret and at the 12th fret that are contained in the C major scale. Let me show you what I mean. The C major scale, as you know, is done by the following note. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C again. Fret. At the fifth fret, we have A, D, G, C, E, A. So all the notes are fine for the C major scale. At the twelfth fret, we have E, a, D, G, B, E. So, once again, all the notes are fitting well in a C major scale. I'm telling this thing because you can tap with your right hand this note all at the same fret position, basically without thinking about your right hand. So, for instance, at the 12th fret I can tap the, the E string, the a string, the D string, and so on and so forth. So, in a tap phrase, it's very easy to go through all the string for my right hand. And now, let's move to the left hand with the second and third idea, and then we put everything together. For the left hand, we can use the most common and known scale we guitarists know, which is obviously the pentatonic. So, we can use the A minor pentatonic, which is the following. <laughs> Obviously in a tapping phrase we are not picking the notes, but we are using the legato. Now let's put together the left hand and the right hand with the first and second idea. As you may notice, my right hand was just staying fixed at the 12th position, moving across the string. And then the left hand was just doing the pentatonic notes. So let me speed it down. for the left hand is instead of using the pentatonic scale we can use all the notes in the major scale for instance the C major scale so using the first idea for the right hand I mean leaving my right hand at the 12th fret we can have something like this
let me do it slowly. And now we can put together these ideas. So we reached the end of this video, I hope you enjoy it and please subscribe to my channel, it would be of great help. And please tell me if you want to see more videos about guitar technique in my channel. Thank you very much, see you in the next video.